Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're just going to discuss actually setting up a limited company. And you can see here I have on the screen a few bullet points. We're going to go through them and I'm going to tell you how you can set up a limited company. It's much easier. You don't need to hire someone to do it. I mean, you can if you want, but you can do it yourself. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, it just looks overwhelming because it's just so much information coming at you at once, but it is possible. So let's go through it. It costs about 12 or 13 pounds. I don't remember the exact number because I set up my company a while ago and I just, the number's gone for me. It's about 12 or 13 pounds to set up the company, which is really cheap, especially compared to how much it costs to set up an LLC in America. So setting up a limited company, 12 or 13 pounds. Um, you could pay someone to do it if you don't want to um, worry about the hassle of doing it yourself. Um, so that's definitely a possibility. Um, you could find, oh, there's accountants who can do it, you could just Google um, set up a, a limited company and you can pay companies who do it for you. Um, but you know what, I recommend doing it yourself because not only will it give you the knowledge of how to do it, which is just, it's amazing knowledge, it will also teach you the, um, the important bits of the business and, and, and how it works, which is cool. So, what you need, you need to, before you set this up, you need to find a name on the company's house registered name place. So you need to choose a name for yourself. So. For example, our name is JSM Brothers Limited. I have another company under Learn Nation Limited. I have a company Capsule Limited. So um, it's very important that you find a name because if you go through the whole process, um, if you go through the whole process with a name that you just randomly choose, you don't know if it's available, you would have spent all that time, an hour or two hours going through the process and then you'll just get rejected and you have to do the whole process again, which is the most annoying thing. And I had to do that with my Learn Nation one. Um, it's very annoying. So I would definitely, definitely recommend going to company's house, um, going to the registered name place, typing in a few different names until one becomes available. And it doesn't matter what this name is called. It can be called anything. It can be called window. I'm looking at the window. So it, it literally be called anything. It doesn't matter. Um, so once you've done that, you then want to go to actually setting up a company on company's house. All the links will be in the description of this video. So you don't have to do any Googling or anything. It will be right there. You'll need your national insurance number and you'll need all your personal info, um, your address, your birthday, your um, phone numbers, your national insurance number, everything. And then I'm just, I've just laid out this step because this confused me when I set it up at first. When it comes to the page on shares, um, you want to, if it's just you, you want to put one. You don't need to put a hundred or anything. And if it's two of you, just put two, um, because then the shares are split equally. And you'll find this happen um, often, and don't worry, it's very normal. Um, you'll be asked to put your information in a few different times with a few, um, in a few different ways. So you'll be asked to put your information in just in general. And then when it comes to setting up the shares and you choose one, you'll then be asked to put your information in again about who that one share is going to. It's obviously going to you because you're the only person, but you'll have to put in all your information again. And then there's another thing called the um, the PCE or PCI. I don't remember off, off the top of my head, but it's, um, it's another step where you will again have to put all your information in, your birthday, your um, address, all that sort of stuff. So don't worry that you keep putting your information again. It, it is fine. It does make perfect sense. Um, now it's, it's very simple. It's a step-by-step -step process on their website. It's literally on their website. Um, you can just click next and it goes to the next page. Very, very simple step-by-step. -step. And there is explanations with the web with the steps as well. So it is very, it, is, it seems very daunting. It seems very difficult, but it is straightforward. Now you should get a confirmation within 48 hours. You should get an email confirmation within 48 hours. And within a couple of days, you'll get um, another email um, with your registration um, certificate and your um, registration number. Um, it's called, uh, it's not called a registration certificate. It's called um, um, a corporation certificate maybe with your registration number. Um, and that is what you'll need for Amazon. And that's what you'll need for setting up your bank account. So that's very important. So don't lose that. Maybe print it out and put it in the Amazon folder that you should be making. Um, but that is the that is the, the process of setting up a limited company. It has huge benefits, um, um, specifically tax benefits. And I'm gonna discuss that in the tax video. Um, I don't wanna ruin the surprise. But, um, but yeah, so that's it for setting up a limited company. Hopefully that helps. If you have any trouble with it or you need further help, then just leave a comment below or message me and I'll help you out.